In the next few videos in this playlist, we'll be discussing something very important, which is simplifying exponential expressions. And we'll be dealing with ones where we are doing multiplication and division, like this one over here on the left, versus addition and subtraction, like this one over here. Now, the big difference is when you see multiplication and division, it is a lot easier because when you see addition and subtraction, you know that you will need to factorize in order to fully simplify. So in this video, we are going to be focusing on using multiplication and division. In future videos, we'll be looking at this. These are the two examples that we'll be doing in today's video. Let's go. First things first, over here, we can see that we are just multiplying. So there's a multiplication, multiplication, no addition, no subtraction. Of course, I'm not talking about in the exponents. I mean, over here. So we know we don't need to do anything like factorize or anything. Here's our steps. So our first step says write all bases if applicable in terms of prime numbers or their prime bases. So what I mean by that is we say two to the power of X, two is a prime number, 12 can be rewritten in terms of its prime bases. Remember, if you want to know how to do that on the calculator, you press 12 equals shift, the shift button, and you press fact, the button that says fact at the top of it, and you should get two to the power of two multiplied by three. And now we close the bracket, and that is raised to the exponent of x minus one. It's very important to know that 12 here is raised to the exponent of x minus one. This inside the bracket is 12. So all I'm doing is I'm rewriting 12 as two to the power of two, which is four, multiplied by three. So we have to make sure to raise it to that same original exponent. Then we multiply that by three to the power of two x. Three is a prime number already. Then we do six. Now six, if you type it in on your calculator, or you can just think about it, six is two multiplied by three. Remember, two multiplied by three, that is the same thing as writing six. Six was raised to this exponent. So two to the um, two multiplied by three, two times three, needs to be raised to the same exponent. So that's step one, write all bases as prime bases, if applicable, which it is. Then we don't have anything in step two that's applicable. Rewrite roots as powers. We don't, need, we don't have roots. Then the next step, apply normal exponent rules. So if you've missed my video recapping basic grade nine, grade 10 exponent rules, please go check that out first. But essentially what we need to do is we need to apply exponent rules to simplify this part of the expression and this part. So what rule am I talking about? We're talking about the power, the exponent inside multiplied by the exponent outside. Basically, if you have something like this, x to the power of two, and it's raised, for example, to a five like that, you take the inside exponent multiplied by the outside exponent, you get x to the power of 10. Just remember, if you have something like this, x to the power of 2, and it's raised to this exponent, the 2 needs to be multiplied by the x, and the 2 needs to be multiplied by the 1, and this is where people go wrong. So this will be x to the power of 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 1 is plus 2. Very important that you understand how this rule works. So let's apply it to our sum. So we've got 2 to the power of x, and then we say 2 multiplied by x, so it's going to be 2 to the power of 2x, and 2 multiplied by negative 1. So that's going to be negative 2. Then, so we've basically done the power inside multiplied by power outside rule, or this exponent multiplied by this full exponent. Essentially, what we're doing is this. We're multiplying the 2 by the x minus 1, and then we distribute the 2 in. That's where these numbers up here come from. Then we have to do it again, but with the 3. Now, remember, the 3 over here is also raised to an exponent of 1. So it's going to be 3. You say 1 multiplied by x is x, and 1 multiplied by negative 1 is minus 1. And then this, we just carry down 3 to the power of 2x, and we apply the same rules at the bottom. So this 2 has an invisible 1, this 3 has an invisible 1. You do the power inside multiplied by the power outside. So it's going to be 2 to the power of 3x minus 1, and 3 to the power of 3x minus 1. Now, once you've gotten it to this step, we apply the following rule. If the bases are the same, and as you can see here, we have a base that's the same, here we have a base that's the same, and here we have a base that's the same. If the bases are the same, we keep the base, and if we are multiplying, which we are doing over here, we are multiplying, we add the exponents. So we're going to take this exponent plus this exponent, 2x minus 2, and then in the same way, if the bases are the same, which this base is also the same, but we are dividing we minus the exponent. So we say minus, we're minusing this entire thing. So that's why I put brackets 3x minus 1. Now, if you don't like that I've done it all in one step, I will show you a version where we can break it down into two steps. Just give me a second. We do the same with the 3. So here the bases are the same and we are multiplying. 
So we keep the base and we add the exponents. So x minus 1 plus 2x. And here we are dividing. So we minus this exponent. But we're minusing multiple terms. As you can see here in the denominator, we don't just have one term. We have two terms. We're minusing something with two terms, so it needs to go in brackets like this. Then what we do in the next step is we distribute the little brackets. So it's going to be 2 to the power of x plus 2x minus 2. This negative needs to be distributed into the brackets. So it's negative 3x plus 1. Remember, negative and a, positive. a negative and a negative is a positive. We do the same with the 3. x minus 1 plus 2x. Distribute the negative into the brackets. So negative 3x plus 1. And then we simplify the exponents, which I've run out of space. Let's do it. So this is where we do like terms in the exponent. So x plus 2x minus 3x. Okay, so if we have 1 plus 2, we have 3 x's. Minus 3 x, we have no x's left. And then we say negative 2 plus 1, we get negative 1. Okay, then we do the same thing for the 3. x plus 2x minus 3x, we left with no x's. And then with these numbers, the whole numbers, negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Now, as you should know from our previous videos, 2 to the power of negative 1, that's the same thing as a half, okay? And 3 to the power of 0, that's the same thing as 1. So our answer is a half. If you prefer to do things baby step by baby step, when you get to the second step over here, you can first decide to simplify the top of the fraction. So if the bases are the same, 2 and 2, you keep the base and you add the exponents. So x plus 2x minus 2, you do the same thing for the 3s. Here at the top, the bases are the same. You keep that base and you add the exponents. So x minus 1 plus 2x and you leave the bottoms as is for now. Then once I simplify all of this, I get this. And once I simplify all of this, I get this. Now we can actually see 3 to the power of 3x minus 1 is exactly the same as 3 to the power of 3x minus 1. So those can cancel. And then over here, my bases are the same. So you keep the base and you minus the exponents. So 3x minus 2, okay, the first exponent, minus the second exponent. If you're going to use this method, you have to minus and put the second exponent in brackets because it's got two terms. You're minusing two terms. You distribute the negative in and ultimately we end up with exactly the same answer as we did earlier. 2 to the power of negative 1 which is a half. Let's take a look at the second example. In this example the first step is relevant. Write all bases if applicable in terms of prime numbers. So instead of 16 you type 16 equals shift fact onto your calculator. Instead of 16 I'm going to write 2 to the power of 4 because 16 can be written with its prime base 2 to the power of 4 and that's raised to the exponent of x. Then we've got 2 to the power of x in that power over there and then we've got 32. 32 can be written as 2 to the power of 5 and that's raised to x. So all I've done in the first step is I've rewritten 16 and I've rewritten 32. Now, in my second step, I'm going to do power inside times power outside. You could skip to this straight away. So that's step one done, and we applied exponent rules over here. Step two, rewrite the roots. So remember, these are roots over here. Rewrite roots as powers with rational exponents. So what we're going to do in the next step is we're going to say, okay, two to the power of, you take the inside divided by the outside, just like we did in the previous video, 4x divided by 3. At the bottom, we have 2 to the power of what's inside? x. What is outside? Here, it's a square root, so an invisible 2. x divided by 2. And over here, we have 2 to the power of what's inside? 5x divided by what's outside? 6. Now, that's step 2 done. Apply normal exponent rules. At this stage, you should be familiar with how to do this. We are dividing. We are multiplying. We're doing all those things. So, if we are dividing and multiplying, which we are. So, we're saying this divided by this and this. So if we are dividing and the bases are the same, which they are, we keep the base, so 2, and we minus the exponent. So I'm going to take this exponent, 4x over 3, and I'm going to subtract this exponent. And I'm going to subtract this exponent, 5x over 6. Why am I minusing exponents? Because I am dividing. And remember, when we divide and the bases are the same, we minus the exponents. That's why there's a minus there and a minus there. Now, something very important. If the sum, and it should, says don't use your calculator, we need to do this properly. And actually, we have x's. We need to do it properly anyway. How am I going to subtract these fractions from each other? Remember, when we add or subtract fractions, they need to be over the same lowest common denominator. 
So what number can three, two, and six all divide into? The smallest number, the lowest number, six. So my LCD is six. So I need to write all of these fractions over six, just like this. Then you need to ask yourself, how do I make this become six? I need to multiply it by two. What you do to the bottom, you need to do to the top. So four X multiplied by two is eight X. And then we've got over here, how do you make this become six? You multiply it by three. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So I've got three X at the top. This one here, you technically timesing by one, so you timesing that by one, so it stays five X. Then, okay, keep the base, make it nice and big. Your denominators are all six, so you, it stays as six. Eight X minus three X. Okay, so we're at five X. Minus five X is no Xs. So technically, it's two to the power of zero. And anything to the power of zero is one. That's your final answer. I hope that that was helpful. In the next few videos, we will be looking at addition and subtraction, which is a little bit more difficult. People struggle with this because when you add or subtract, so you see there's a minus, there's a minus. We need to include, incorporate factorizing into our methods. I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Bye.